Where Chelsea robbed at Villa Park? That's my question that I'm asking. I need you, the world, to let me know because I feel like maybe I'm going to be a bit biased. What was that? <laughs> what was that from the referees? How do you take away a goal from a nudge? That was not even supposed to be something that is even looked at. To be honest, because everything that they did, they deserved what they were doing. They played this game so well. And now we need to talk about another howler from the officials. What is happening with the VAR and the officials? Because now this is for the second time in a week where Chelsea have been robbed. And somehow this keeps happening and we are not even saying anything about it. So I want to know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. What are your thoughts of, over the Aston Villa versus Chelsea game? It was one of those games that we really, really need to talk about Chelsea. Because I said it before, and I'm going to repeat my words if you didn't hear me the first time when I said it. I said that Chelsea are at a better position than Manchester United. Because Manchester United need to redo their team. But Chelsea are a good team. And uh, I don't know, maybe they might not judge it from the last games that are left, but... Uh, there is now that certain or that certain belief that maybe Maurizio Pochettino do have something that is cooking when it comes to this team because they're coming up, they're performing so well, they're getting the last goals, they're doing what it matters to be a player. There was a kid who came out in the in the in the last game that they lost when they were playing which Arsenal when they were playing Arsenal where he said that he does she doesn't want the jersey, she wants Chelsea to fight for the badge and if we are never going to look at this game today and actually be able to say that this was an evidence of the team fighting for the badge. This was a team fighting for, especially in the second half. Aston Villa had their last, they were lucky with the first goal. It was a deflection from Kukurea. Then they had one amazing goal which was scored by, I don't know, his name Rudika or something like that. Let me know in the comment section. But after that, the game became open. Chelsea were attacking. The problem that we were actually complaining in the first half is that they were attacking, but they were not finishing their chances. Well, Mauricio Pochettino got them in the in the half time, talked to this team, helped them, and they started taking their chances, which they were creating. And for me, looking at that, that sh sh out, that showed me a team that can be or that can create something even more special. That shows me that if this team goes to the next season and they're able to continue doing what they're working on to create this, this team is going to be dangerous. And also, I said this the last time. I said, when Chelsea were going to play us now, I said, for Chelsea to even have any control over the game that they're going to be playing against us now, in the midfield, in that double pivot, that two that is in the middle, it has to be Moises, Caicedo, and Conor Gallagher. Because those two, the other one is a first person, the other one is a defensive freak. Those two together, make them work together. That team will be unstoppable. And just look at how Aston Villa struggled to even get away from this game. Look at how they purposely could not break down this Chelsea team. And it's all because of what I was saying. It's clear. That defensive pivot, which has an attacking, Conor Gallagher and Caicedo would thrive together. Because Conor Gallagher offers the, a bit of what Macalesa used to offer Caicedo when they were at Brighton. Caicedo needs somebody like that next to him to actually show how much of a good player he is. Because today, everyone who left the pitch, I'm sure that they will be smiling that... Moises Caicedo was playing so good. They will actually be able to tell that they saw the difference between. Because I get it, I get it, I get it. This guy is very good in terms of what he creates. I, I respect him, Enzo Fernandez. But I think let him be the one who becomes the creator, the chief creator up top. Allow these two to work it out there. Don't make Gallagher the creator. Make a Gallagher the, def the guy who helps defend him while going to attack. That is the trick that Mauricio Pochettino has been failing for some time. And if he actually understands what we are saying, I'm telling you, this Chelsea team is going to be a nightmare for so many teams. And today we saw that there is something special with this team. They are creating something that we will talk about in the long run because it seems like they are going to go... To, you know to the end they are gonna fight to the very end and it's exciting that's what we are here for that's what we want to see we want to celebrate these moments we want to celebrate when they fight to the very best they fight to the very end where they put everything on the pitch where they fight for the badge and today to be honest they deserve to win that was robbery 
That was Robert from the re referent VAR. The same as they did with the Liverpool game against West Ham. That should have been a goal from Gakpo if he had scored that one. But with Chelsea, for what we have been saying, for what we have been seeing, this is what can work. This is what we have been waiting for. We were questioning so many times, can Mauricio Pochettino be the best manager to manage this team? And I don't know what I lied to you. It took forever. It took time. But I'm now starting to see what he's trying to do. Of course, he was trying to turn this whole entire team to become special. But now I'm believing that in the next year season, could be the build up that we give them and say that Chelsea are building from this. Then the ones that are coming from after that, I'm sure they will be challenging for the titles because they are looking like they are already, already there. They are getting there. Maybe they need to sign a striker a finisher, but with the likes of Cole Palmer, with the players that they do have, I'm telling you, this is a special team. It can be special. It can really be special. They have everything that they need from these kids. They just have to work it out. And today, I'm telling you, they need to use this as a template of over how they're going to build from next season. Don't do stupid things like sucking Mauricio Pochettino when he's already working on a good project, which seems like it's going to go far. Start with what you have now. Create something special and make your season actually amazing and i'm telling you this chelsea team can do it they can create a good team which can challenge for even more than what they have right now so i want to know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think of the performance where do you see chelsea going and what do we need to do with the var they can't keep robbing teams like this it's getting out of hand now any team which is on man city is getting robbed of the var and it has to come to an end let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do me a favor, click the like button, subscribe to the Connect, and see me on the other side. I'm out. Peace. Subscribe to the Connect.